Uh, in May of last year at a Senate committee hearing, you stated that white supremacy was, and I quote, the greatest threat, I'm over here, oh, thank the you, greatest Congress. threat to the homeland. Uh, earlier this month, you doubled down and again claimed that, and I quote, domestic violent extremism uh, was the biggest threat. When you say that term, do you include in that term Black Lives Matter and Antifa? Congressman, let me be precise because you're you're not quoting me accurately and precision is. I important. watched the video. I am. Domestic violent extremism is the greatest terrorism related threat. Okay, so country. the greatest terrorism threat. Do you include Black Lives Matter and Antifa in that definition? Uh, uh, Congressman, I do not consider Black Lives Matter. So the uh, riots that we a, saw over the summer I, of 2020 and the killing of David Dorn by an Antifa member, that wasn't domestic terror? Uh, 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 Congressman, it is not uh, in my province to, um, to address a particular case. Okay, uh, well, what about the, but the let me, riots at the Department me, of the Interior right here in Washington, D.C. by a leftist environmental group? Would you term that domestic terrorism? Uh, uh, Congressman, I uh, leave it to the Department of Justice uh, to uh, define domestic terrorism with respect to particular incidents. Well, you're the Department of Homeland that Security, that and you're that saying that this is the number one threat to the homeland. So I'm trying to get an understanding of, obviously now, based on your testimony, you don't include leftist radicalized groups, only white nationalists and right radicalized groups. Uh, meanwhile, Customs and Border Protection have had over 2.4 million interactions with illegal immigrants at the border. Since the Biden administration took office with an estimated 600,000 more illegal immigrants making their way into our country undetected. So using your definition that we just flushed out here, how many cases involving white supremacists and domestic terrorists have you referred to DOJ for prosecution? Uh, Congressman, let me... Um, uh, it's let a me, simple... Let me, do you not have the number? It's a no, simple but, but number. You've made, you've made some profoundly inaccurate statements. No. that I would like the opportunity to correct. I, I'm specifically is, asking you a question. You, you've, you, just, you just clarified. Domestic terrorism is a threat to the homeland, number one threat. And I'm asking you, how many referrals from Homeland Security have you made to DOJ for white supremacy or domestic terrorism? A congressman, I will provide uh, you with that information. So you don't know. Subsequent to this hearing, I do not have. Do you, can you name one case? That statistic. Can you name uh, one case of a referral from DHS to Cong DOJ for domestic terrorism? Congressman, um, I will provide the data to you. Um, and let I'm me asking just, you, you can't name one me, case. And let me just say. Okay, so you can't name one case yet. According to a new report from the U.S. Department of Justice, almost half of all the criminals prosecuted in federal courts in 2018 were aliens charged with crimes ranging from drug trafficking to murder and to kidnapping. And the vast majority, 38,000, were illegal immigrants, illegal aliens. But it's still domestic terrorism is the number one cause of, uh, of your concerns. Texas is one of the only border states that keeps detailed statistics on crimes committed by aliens specifically. The latest report from the state of Texas reports that between June 1st of 2011 and November 30th of 2021, 356,000 criminal aliens were booked into Texas jails, of which 243,000 were identified as being in the country illegally. Those illegal aliens were charged with more than 401,000 criminal offenses, including 742 murders, 47,000 assaults, 7,500 burglaries, and over 11,000 sexual assaults and other sex crimes, and that is just in the state of Texas, and you can't name one referral that DHS has made on a domestic terrorism charge to the DOJ with all of those numbers. Just in April, in a 24-hour period of time, uh, CBP arrested at least five gang members who illegally crossed the border. And it's been touched on in this committee um, about fentanyl. I come from Florida, I hail from Florida, I represent Florida, and fentanyl is a large problem in the state of Florida. And now we are at the point where fentanyl is the number one cause of death death of Americans between the ages of 18 and 45. Do you agree with that statement? That fentanyl is the number one cause of death between the ages of 18 and 45 for Americans. I, I'm aware of that. And, there, and it, it is a, a tremendous threat. So that's to a the yes. And therefore, country. since it's the leading cause of death, you have, this is what, just what you've captured at the border. More fentanyl to kill every American has been seized at the border. And you say it just comes in through ports of entry. And so if we're only seizing that at 
ports of entry or other places you guys are capturing it, just like there's 600,000 gotaway illegal immigrants, there's gotta be a tremendous amount of fentanyl that's coming in through the southern border that you guys are not stopping, the, the that has now the leading cause of death. The time of the gentleman in America. Has, the time of the gentleman has expired. I like stories about terrorists getting shot in the face. I'm talking extreme, graphic, brutal violence. Beer, or you want to hear about porn stars spilling whatever secrets they might want to spill, then watch me by clicking on the link in the description or the button that pops up on screen.